So what we have in front of us, um, I put the uh, vinegar solution in here along with about 25 milliliters of water and that water, distilled water, is primarily there just so you can really see the color change more easily in my opinion. Um, the burette is ready to go so it has that measurement that you just saw a, a, a second ago. And a couple things before we start, um, we're going to use an indicator called phenolphthalein. You can see it's just a, a clear colorless solution. And this molecule, you know, only need you know a couple drops in there. What this molecule is going to do is it is going to change color when it becomes uh, neutral. Um, right now it's in an acidic solution and you see it's colorless and you'll see very quickly as I start adding the base uh, you'll see like a fuchsia or a pink color uh, develop um, over time and periodically when you do a titration what you want to do is you want to rinse down the tip of the burette and the um, sides of the flask also that's a good idea um, sometimes the base and the acid will splash up on the side and you want to get everything down uh, into the uh, reaction mixture so you can get an accurate uh, measure of when neutralization occurs. Okay, and all I'm going to do here is I'm going to open it up and start the sodium hydroxide flow. And right now you don't see much change. I can see it a little bit. You may be able to see it on the video. And basically I'm just going to um, add it until the pink color starts uh, hanging around a little bit longer. I think you can see it in the video just a little bit. Sometimes these things are very quick, sometimes it takes a while. Um, from past experiences, um, this may take maybe 40 milliliters. And you can see that, you know, as I mix this thing around, that purple color uh, disappears. I'll just add a little bit without mixing. So there's like local neutralization occurring there and you can still see a little purple and you want to swirl it around there. Now as we get closer to the end point, i.e. the point at which the uh, purple color is going to persist, that is going to indicate that we are close to the neutralization point. Okay. Uh, which in the terms of titration is referred to as the equivalence point. So again, the end point is where the color change occurs and the equivalence point is where the reaction takes, is actually complete. And basically the two are going to correspond uh, at about the same moment here, okay? And that's what we're going to work with in our calculations. Okay, I hope you can see that purple color is hanging around much longer now. And so what I want to do is I want to slow down the addition of the sodium hydroxide. And there's a couple of techniques. And again, every now and then, especially when you get close to the end point, it's good to wash down the um, tip and the flask. Sometimes, uh, if there's one drop remaining on the tip of the burette, just washing it off will actually r allow you to reach the end point. Okay, so it, it can be that sensitive, even a fraction of a drop can uh, make a difference here. Now, with this particular setup, you know, I can add one drop at a time. And this is going to be kind of tedious, but this is what you do, and I don't want to block the view there.
basically what I'm doing is adjusting the opening of the burette to where it's coming out one drop at a time. Okay, now what I'm doing here is just trying to get a reasonably accurate measure of the um, concentration of the acetic acid in the vinegar sample. If I was testing something where I wanted to be much more certain <laughs> of the exact concentration, then what I might want to do is, as I get closer to the end point, actually just allow for half a drop to uh, appear on the uh, burette tip and then and then wash it down. You notice the pink color. Um, so um, that way you can add very slow, uh, small amounts of, vo of uh, the volume of the sodium hydroxide very slowly. Now, again, this is just a vinegar sample. This is just practice. And, and with this particular setup, it'll, it'll give pretty good results anyway. Okay. Now, that solution is barely pink. That's good. That's what I want. Again, I've washed that tip off. If you notice in the video, I think you'll see that when I washed the tip off initially, it got a little bit more pink, which is good. So that, need, that pink color needs to persist for 30 seconds, usually what we say. And uh, if it does, then we're done. And um, 